You are a machine. At least, according to our current scientific understanding. If you see the apple, given factors like you are hungry and you like apples, you will inevitably eat it. Scientists haven't found any mechanism that could allow for free will. Not on the level of brain areas, not on the level of brain cells, and not even on the level of molecules. Although you have the feeling that you freely make your decisions, you could have never done anything other than what you did. Everything that happens is just a result of past events. Actions inevitably cause the subsequent reactions. At least, that is the current understanding of anything that is larger than a molecule. But what if we zoom in even further? If we go beyond molecules, we reach the scale of atoms and electrons, which is called the quantum level. On the tiniest quantum scale, an interesting phenomenon occurs. Here, actions do not automatically cause reactions, but multiple options appear. Our research investigates if you can freely choose from those options, which ultimately influence large-scale events, such as eating the apple or not. So, will our research reveal that you are not a machine and you do have free will? This is what our experiment looks like. But before you can understand it, you have to know a bit more about quantum. In the world around us, everything has a fixed position, like this brain here. But in the quantum world, it's different. We enter this tiny world that follows its own rules. Inside the atoms, electrons are located around the center. Electrons, in contrast to everything around us, do not necessarily have a fixed position. They can be spread out in an area around the center. And particles, make up light, can be spread out as well. An interaction between a light particle and an electron can make it appear at a position. But what location of all options does the electron appear? Here, here, or somewhere else? This is one of the biggest mysteries in quantum theory. Can our mind maybe influence the locations where particles appear? This is what we are going to test. A participant is sitting in front of a screen. Light particles are sent to the brain. We use low energy near infrared light, which is widely used and known to be safe. The brain reflects the light particles, the camera records it, and the screen displays the position of the reflected particles. The person is instructed to try to let the light particles appear to the left of the screen. They can try everything they can do with the mind, for example, deciding to think about a house or a pleasant memory. The location of the reflected light particles appear at the screen and informs the person if they manage to let it appear at the left. Let's have a look inside the brain. If the person managed to let the particle appear at the left of the screen, it means that the camera recorded the particle at the left side because it's connected to the screen. That means that the person let the electron of all options appear at the left, because the light particles are reflected at the position where the electron appears. At this quantum level of atoms and electrons, we find the only known event where the future is not completely determined by the past, where multiple options really do exist. So, if the person can freely choose where the electrons appear, then this impacts the molecules and brain cells, which in the end influences the choices they make. Personally, I am really excited that our research could help answer the fundamental question of free will in the coming years. We can find out if you are not just a machine. The investigations may reveal that quantum phenomena enable your free will meaning that you ultimately influence the choices that you make. If we can influence the patterns of the reflected light particles, then this may be the first empirical proof that we do have free will.